bottom one swivels. No, the bottom. Oh, it's, it's got oh, a bit of a wave on now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> The English journalist is best known for co-presenting motoring programs Top Gear and the Grand Tour, but he thinks that the bicycle is one of mankind's greatest inventions to date. Welcome back to another episode of Insane Wealth. In this video, we dive deep into the life of motor enthusiast and television host James May. What is the highest speed Captain Slow has attained on the road? Watch this video till the end for everything you want to know about his cars, bikes, planes, bicycles, and real estate. And please take a moment to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss our amazing luxury lifestyle videos. Let's get right into it. James Daniel May was born in Bristol, England as one of the four children of an aluminum factory manager. After attending junior high school in Newport, May spent his teenage years in South Yorkshire, where he attended Oakwood Comprehensive School in Rotherham. He became a choir boy at Whiston Parish Church. Thereafter, he learned to play the flute and piano while studying music at Lancaster University. After graduating, May briefly worked at a hospital in Chelsea as a records officer and had a short stint in the civil service. During the early 1980s, May worked as a sub-editor for The Engineer and later Auto Car Magazine, from which he was dismissed for performing a prank. But this also became a starting point of his interest and career in automobiles. He not only went ahead to become a famous presenter, but he never shirked from participating in adventure rides himself, as we will see ahead in this video. May has written for several publications, including a weekly column in The Daily Telegraph. In 1999, he briefly co-presented the original Top Gear series. He then co-presented the revived series of Top Gear in its second series in 2003, where he earned the nickname Captain Slow, owing to his careful driving style. Despite this nickname, he has done some especially high-speed driving like in the 2007 series when he took a Bugatti Veyron to its top speed of 253 miles per hour. Then in 2010, he achieved 259.11 miles per hour in the Veyron's newer 16.4 Super Sport Edition. May also loves long and dangerous excursions. In 2007, he traveled by car to the magnetic North Pole using a modified Toyota Helix. He also drove a modified Toyota Helix up the side of an erupting volcano. He called it quits from Top Gear in 2015, following the BBC's decision not to renew his co-presenter Jeremy Clarkson's contract with the show. The multi-faceted May did a six-part TV series in 2009, showing favorite toys of the past era and whether they can be applied in the modern day. He not only fulfilled several of his boyhood dreams in the process, but built a full-sized house out of Lego in Surrey in 2009. Legoland was awestruck by May's creation and planned to move it to their theme park, but couldn't do it due to the prohibitive cost of shipping. The house was eventually demolished. But May hasn't just demolished Lego homes. He had bought two adjacent properties in West London, one house for $10 million and a semi-derelict commercial property for $310,000. He had them bulldozed to make a 3 million mega mansion that will have enough space for his fleet of supercars. The five-year-long reconstruction is about to conclude. May's garage is where his heart is and the 57-year-old loves giving guided tours of his garage. It houses his never-ending row of cars that includes a 2005 Saab 95 Aero, Bentley T2, Rolls-Royce Phantom, Triumph 2000, Rover P6, Alfa Romero 164, a 1971 Rolls-Royce Corniche, Triumph Vitesse, Jaguar XJS, 1992 Range Rover Classic Vogue, Fiat Panda, Datsun 120Y, a 2015 Toyota Mirai, Ferrari F430, and a 1984 Porsche 911 among others. The Panda is his favorite. May also owns about 40 motorbikes and he loves zooming around on two wheels. Did we say two wheels? May is super passionate about bicycles too and calls it one of the greatest inventions of mankind. He confesses that he hasn't been without a bike since the age of three. In his younger days, May says he would often cycle as far as 70 or 100 miles per day. His giant TCR advanced bicycle was designed by Mike Burroughs, the same man who designed the Lotus bike that took Chris Boardman to victory in the 1992 Barcelona Olympics. The bike cost him an insane 10,000 pounds and is called the supercar of the cycling world. It is costlier than his Decia Sendero car. For regular commuting, he uses a Brompton folding bicycle though. But May's interest in transport doesn't stop at cars, bikes, and bicycles. In 2006, he earned himself a pilot's license after training at White Waltman Airfield in Berkshire. Thereafter, he bought an 8K CAB Decathlon and registered it with GOCOK as his call sign, which comes from his catchphrase, OCOK. He also owned a Lascombe 8A Silver and a Cessna A185E Skywagon. May currently lives in Hammersmith, West London with art critic Sarah Freider, with whom he has been married in a relationship since 2000. 
His current net worth is $29 million, a part of which he spends his love for heritage. In 2020, he bought half the ownership of an early 18th century pub in Wiltshire called the Royal Oak. And that was all about James May's lifestyle. Which aspect of the motorman's life fascinated you the most? Let me know in the comments below. If you liked the video, please press the like button and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.